The North Rankin Redevelopment, or NR2 project, was a $5 billion project designed to recover remaining low pressure gas from the North Rankin and Perseus fields. The NR2 project involved the construction and installation of a second platform, North Rankin B, near the existing North Rankin A facility. The new platform, located 135 kilometres offshore from Karratha, Western Australia, is connected by two 100 metre bridges to the North Rankin A platform. North Rankin B stands in 125 metres of water, includes gas compression facilities, utilities and new living quarters. Completed in October 2013, North Rankin A and B now operate as a single facility known as the North Rankin Complex with a combined production capacity of more than 2,700 million standard cubic feet of gas per day. It is the fourth major offshore gas production project to be undertaken by the North West Shelf Project. The North Rankin Redevelopment Project means for Woodside an extension of the North West Shelf life out beyond 2040. It means that we've demonstrated yet again our capability to build large complex projects and, and integrate them into our existing assets. So there's at least 20% of the, of the project was to redevelop parts of NRA so that it could be fully linked to NRB and so extend the life of the North West Shelf. And it demonstrates our capability to do big and complex projects and then to fully integrate them into our existing assets. NRA and NRB now operate as a single integrated platform. Beginning in 2006 and lasting more than a year, the NR2 project team worked across the globe to refine a concept that would continue a tradition of safe and reliable production. In March 2008, following the completion of the front-end engineering and design phase in Perth, Australia, the Northwest Shelf project participants made the final investment decision for the NR2 project to proceed. Following the announcement, major contracts were awarded, along with numerous other packages. The NR2 project team also made key commitments to ensure that Australian suppliers and engineers were given a full, fair and reasonable opportunity to tender for work packages. We spend a lot of time ensuring that Australians get an equal opportunity to win any and all the work. Uh, and that's meant that we've had government involvement in the design office, in the supply office. Uh, we've achieved 40% Australian content. That's 40% of a $5 billion project. With contracts signed, the project moved into the design and fabrication of the substructure, bridges, topsides modules and transport equipment. With design offices in Perth, Melbourne and London and led by the project management team in Perth, the project began the four-year detailed design, fabrication and construction phase. In Batam, Indonesia, PT McDermott's commenced work in July 2008 building and assembling the substructure, or jacket legs, and support beams that support the top sides. Five months ahead of schedule in December 2009, the substructure team safely completed the first two roll-ups of the jacket centre legs, which involved a five-crane, three-winch manoeuvre. Later in 2010, an eight-crane roll-up lift of 3,400 tonnes of steel, the largest ever in the fabrication yard, was undertaken to complete the main jacket leg structure. Once we had the legs in the temporary supports and the splices were made in the legs, we then laid in the, the braces into the frame, made out all the TKY joints. Then we also put on a couple of the elevation panels onto, onto the bend. And then the most complex area for, the, for this particular uh, fabrication was on the pile cluster. That took about six weeks to uh, complete. In Korea, at the Hyundai Heavy Industry Yards in Ulsan, another Woodside-led team was hard at work beginning the topsides fabrication. In May 2009, the first cut of steel for North Rankin B's topsides was celebrated with a formal site ceremony. Closer to home, modifications to North Rankin A were well underway. More than 700,000 man-hours offshore and about 800,000 man-hours onshore were worked prior to start-up in October 2013. The modifications included installation of the North and South Bridge support structures, modification of pipework to tie North Rankin A and B together, 
upgraded and additional blast walls, installation of a luggage hoist and an extensive cable network. In July 2011, the 23,000 ton North Rankin B jacket was skidded out from the PT McDermott Quayside and onto Herrimer's H591 barge. The substructure fabrication was successfully completed over 5 million man-hours without a lost time injury, reflecting the project's strong approach to safety across Woodside's global operations. After a two-week sea journey from Indonesia to Australia, the North Rankin B jacket was ready for launch. With sea conditions proving the most stable during the night, the transport and installation team went about finalising the plans for a midnight launch. Following the cutting of the final sea fastenings that held the jacket on the transport barge, at 11.55pm on Friday the 16th of September 2011, the jacket slid into the Indian Ocean in a matter of seconds. Utilising one of the world's largest heavy lift crane vessels, the jacket was then slowly towed into position by Herrimer's Hermod vessel next to North Rankin A before sea ballasting was used for final positioning and upending. Back in Korea, the final topsides modules were busy being pieced together. This concluded with the final major module, the flare stack, being lifted into position. In a world first, the top sides were loaded onto Herrimer's 260 metre H851 transport barge using an air skid loadout. On the 26th of January 2012, the North Rankin B topsides sailed away from its yard in Ulsan, Korea, bound for the Northwest Shelf. Taking several weeks, the transport barge with the topsides sailed down the South China Sea and passed Indonesia to its destination next to the North Rankin A platform. By February 2012, the North Rankin B jacket was secured to the seabed and ready for the first of two bridge installations. At 9.45 p.m. on the 28th of February, the first bridge was successfully installed, followed by the second bridge several hours later. Designed to link the platforms, the two 100 metre long steel structures are used as a personnel and process link between the two facilities. With the bridges on the jacket substructure, it was now ready for the top sides installation. On the 1st of April 2012, in perfect weather conditions, the NR2 project team successfully installed the Northwest Shelf's largest prefabricated platform top sides. This involved the topside structure being floated in between the jacket legs and lowered into position.
Taking only a few hours to complete, the transport barge safely navigated its way into position and set the enormous top sides down onto the substructure with millimetre precision. At the time of completion, the North Rankin B topsides installation was the largest ever completed in open water, both for height and weight, and represented the end of the NR2 project's fabrication, transportation and installation phase. Hookup and commissioning was the final phase of the project and involved the start-up and commissioning of North Rankin B's equipment and systems, whilst communications and system integration was undertaken with North Rankin A. Nearly 400 offshore workers were involved during this phase of the project. Engineering excellence was demonstrated throughout the project. Sometimes we missed deadlines and that was painful, but we never missed quality steps. Safety was a great focus on the project from the individuals in the office to the individuals working on the various sites around the world everybody had a safety and quality target that they were trying to achieve. After more than four years of construction, the North Rankin B platform now stands proudly next to North Rankin A. Startup was achieved in October 2013, and in the first quarter of 2014, the facility reached steady state production. Both platforms now operate as a single integrated facility known as the North Rankin Complex. This world-class effort represents the commitment of the Northwest Shelf Project to maximise the value of Australia's largest operating oil and gas project. North Rankin Project enabled people to learn from graduate to capable engineer and actually get their qualifications all in the cycle of one project. We had great mentors and gave people lots of experience from design, procurement, fabrication, transport, installation and startup. North Ranking Project was a success for the company and also for the people who worked on it. We all grew a lot. <laughs>